jackals love these fruit. The gerbils eat the seeds and Homo sapiens probably couldn't survive in this very harsh desert environment without the nourishment that they gain from these fruit. What is this? This, my friend, is the Nara melon. How's it guys? I'm Gus, the African plant hunter. The sun is very slowly rising over the dunes right here on the edge of the Namib desert, just outside Swakopmund on the west coast of Namibia. I have wanted to see this plant in the wild for a long time and I finally had an opportunity and I'm just so excited. So the Nara melon grows in incredibly dry desert environment, basically no rainfall at all here. It is able to send roots down really deep to draw in moisture from a long way underground. The only other moisture that it ever gets here is a little bit from the early morning mist that often uh, you find on the coastline. This melon, which is sweet, uh, has uh, it's also called in English the uh, butter pip or the butter nut, um, very oily seed. And the seed is used by the Topna people in this area uh, to make an oil which is both an edible oil and also used as a, a skincare oil to protect their skin from this incredibly harsh environment. Uh, a beautiful um, story of sort of biological reciprocity. The fruit are taken from here whole by jackals and they're taken off sometimes four or five kilometers away and then they're buried for later. Um, the jackals urinate on them when they bury them to tell other jackals to leave them alone. This is my Nara melon. And then they come and eat them. And then after that, uh, of course, the seeds pass through their body and it's said that the seeds can only germinate after that's happened. And then in their dung, the seeds are found and the gerbils come along and pick the seeds out of their dung and then take them on uh, somewhere else. And that is a, a, a pretty interesting seed dispersal chain. Uh, but the thing with this is that right now there are efforts to develop the oil from the seed of this plant for cosmetic use. And I think you can agree that's a pretty unusual uh, cosmetic oil and one that is able to protect skin in an environment as harsh as this must have some seriously good benefits for the skin. This plant is totally remarkable because it has no leaves at all and it photosynthesizes through these thorns. It's a whole kind of micro uh, ecosystem in its own right here. Uh, there's not a lot around us in, in the desert. It's flat, flat um, and not a lot of opportunity for vegetation to grow. But this is one that does very well here. Um, and using those dispersal mechanisms I've already described is spread out in many parts of the desert. Found in Namibia also has been recorded in South Africa and I wouldn't be surprised if it was also found in the very south of Angola. Uh, but this is really just outside Swakopmund, this is really where it comes from and it's just so amazing for me to get a chance to see one in the wild. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, plenty more on my YouTube channel and Facebook, Instagram. Check me out, African Plant Hunter. I will catch you later. Take it easy. Bye.